All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change a wallpaper um, based on the time of day. Um, I've lost my voice a little bit, so uh, I definitely am um, straining to talk. I plan on doing a few more videos today, but this is the only one I'm going to be able to do. And uh, quickly, before, um, just to go ahead and save a little bit of time, because right now it's 105, so I definitely want to show you something before it becomes 112. Um, here's how you can change your background based on uh, minutes, for example. Now, um, what I have, I'm going to go to background, I got a blank slate, and solid, I'm going to uh, go to image for my background, and we're going to pick our image. However, I want to pick a series of images, but I'm going to go ahead and pick one of them for right now. Um, and here's what I want to do. I'm going to go back to my home screen. I'm going to try to do this before uh, 112, and you'll see why. Because I only have 12 pictures in this particular folder. I'm going to go to ES File Explorer, and I'm going to get the path to my card. For example, um, my external SD card, and underneath wallpaper images, I have uh, changing WPs. That's what I call this folder, changing wallpapers. And basically, I have them named 1 through 12, and make sure they're all JPEGs, or make sure they're all the same file path, like .jpeg for my example. And I'm just going to go to one of these. I'm going to hold down on it, and I want to go and get, uh, da, 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 what am I looking for? Properties. And I want to copy this path, the path of where this particular JPEG is located. So I'm going to go to Copy Full Path. Or you might have to write it down depending on whether your app can copy that path or not. So I'm going to go back into KLWP using that path. Underneath image, pick image. I'm going to tap on bitmap right here over here. I'm going to tap on that. Calculator. And I'm going to paste that in there. So notice it's the path of where that JPEG is located. So I'm going to check. And notice one dot JPEG is right there. So I'm going to save that, and bam, we have a wallpaper. Now, I want this to change on the number of minutes. So I'm going to go back into KLWP, and I'm going to go to this little piece here. And instead of doing that one dot JPEG, I'm going to do it based on uh, a time. So I'm going to go to uh, DF, and notice I deleted that one. And I'm going to go to based on the number of minutes. So let's go and find minutes. DF right there. Now it's 07. I'm going to take away the padding. And basically, whatever minute it is, do you see how it plugged in a 7? When it becomes 108, it's going to do an 8. It's going to do a 9, a 10, 11, 12. Whatever minute it is, it's going to pull that image from that path. Now I only have 12 images, so I wanted to do it before 112 because at 113 it's not going to do anything because I don't have a file named 13.jpg in that path. All I have is 1.jpg up to 12.jpg. So let me save this. It's going to change on us. Let me save this here, and I'm going to go back to my home screen. And right now it is 108 right now. So once it becomes 109, this uh, right here should change. And uh, we're going to see if it does that. Now I'm going to fast forward the video. All right, there's 109. So this is probably 9.jpg. And as I'm sitting here doing this, let me go back into ES File Explorer. We got the cars going on. Let me back out of this. And notice, okay, it was 109. My 9.jpg is that one. The next one, when it becomes 110, it should show this one. 111, 112. Um, but once it gets to 113, it's not going to show anything because there is no 13.jpg. So essentially, if you wanted to change images every minute, you would need 60 of these things in here, up to 60.jpg. But uh, let me exit out. Going back to here, once it becomes 110, it should change this to that black, um, whatever it was. But I remember it being like a black image. There you go, 110. So now we have a different one. It's changing based on every minute. So let me go back into KLWP. And if I were to change this code to DVH, 
Right now, that's hours with no padding. So now it's going to do one dot JPEG. This little code here is going to change the image every hour, whether it be one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, and so forth. So right now it's going to do one because the hour is currently set to one. And something to be careful with here, if I scroll down to the bottom of the codes, um, H's, let me find the H's down here. Uh, hour of the day, 1 through 12 is what mine's going to do. So basically, if I leave this alone with the way it is right now, it's going to, at 1 o'clock a.m. and 1 o'clock p.m., it's going to display the same thing. Whereas if you're on military time, where you go from 0 to 24, or 0 to 23, where 0 is actually hour 24, you would have to um, add 24 or yeah, 24 images and name them 0.jpg up to 23.jpg. But since I'm on uh, 1 a.m., 1 p.m. is how my time would show up here, all I need is a 1.jpg, 2.jpg, 3.jpg, all the way up to 12.jpg. So with that particular file, if you remember, now I'm back to 1.jpg, and once it becomes 2 o'clock, it would change to 2.jpg. And that's based on the way, again, that I have these, oops, it's based on how I have these files named. So that is one way that you can dynamically change it. At 2 o'clock, it would show this. At 3 o'clock, this would be my background. At 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and so forth. Now, this should give you other ideas. You can change not only pictures, you can change shapes, you can change the text that's displayed. There's so much you can change depending on the time. And the time that I'm talking about here is nothing but using that code for uh, DF, DFH, in this case, every hour. And I took away the padding because there were two H's in here. Notice that will do, whoa, see, now that's my keyboard messing up on me, but um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fix that. Let me just go back and uh, exit out. That's just my keyboard messing up on me. But nonetheless, um, here, oh, crud. My keyboard's stuck, I guess. Um, let me try it now. Okay, there we go. Um, but DFH, so HH would do the 01, but since I named mine 1.jpg and not 01.jpg, the naming and the padding is important there. But that's one way that you can dynamically change your background. You can even, again, do this with uh, pictures that you have inside of your items, inside of root or wherever you have them. You can have those images changing based on that same code pretty much that I have here. Just make sure you copy your path correctly and that you use your dollar symbols for your code. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.